I'm Ted Mikla. I'm the Chief of Orthopedic Surgery at San Francisco General Hospital, and I'm also the Director of the Orthopedic Trauma Institute. The trauma course is a combination of lectures and hands-on workshops, as well as symposium. And what we've tried to do is get to the very basic cut to the chase, 10-minute talks that really allow us to cover a lot of practical topics in orthopedic trauma in lecture form. And then often we pair those lectures with the workshops that are going on. My name is Amir Matitya, I'm an orthopedic trauma surgeon, and I'm the co-chairman of the International Trauma Course. The objectives of the Trauma Course is to disseminate information and to create information exchange between the participants and the faculty about trauma issues and orthopedic care. Well, I think this is a unique course. Uh, when Ted originated it, most of the courses that were not uh, sponsored by specialty societies were pretty much directed by uh, individual orthopedic uh, companies. And Ted broke down that, that old rule or convention and set up a multi-vendor course so that it had absolutely uh, open discussion. It was not controlled by any one set of uh, individuals or uh, philosophies. And he's worked very hard to bring faculty from across the country and around the world that also uh, share his, his understanding that uh, a true intellectual exercise needs to be uh, open to all opinions and not be controlled by um, a certain cult of ideas that, that sometimes occurs in, in our profession. We look at current concepts in the overall trauma community and we see what is a hot topic. We take those hot topics and infuse them into the course. So as the course has grown, so is our faculty. And these guys are the who's who of orthopedic trauma. They're the thought leaders. They're also internationally recognized for their ability to teach. It's probably the premier trauma course that we have. And anytime you take time out of your busy city, you want to make you want to make a difference. And I was commenting the other day, the people here are going to workshops till 6.30. I do trauma courses all over the world and people are scattering out early. No one scatters out early here. And so it's that interaction. I feel like I'm making a difference by being at this course. I think people should come to this course because they will gain the latest information about what's going on in orthopedics. And equally important, they cover a variety of topics that aren't seen at uh, typical orthopedic trauma courses. Well, it, it's one of the best courses, I think, in the country. Partnership with the uh, Orthopedic Trauma Institute and the community surgeons here in San Francisco is fantastic. What's really unique about this course is the international presence. That's one of the strengths of the uh, UCSF uh, faculty is uh, they've, they've traveled the world and so, not only are there many international faculty, but also many attendees from um, overseas. So surgeon learning is changing. Much more of the learning involves hands-on work. And the workshops that we have supplement the didactic teaching that they get in the classroom and provide an opportunity for the attendees to work directly with experts in the field to learn new practical techniques in hands-on models. I think this is a hands-on course in the best sense of that word. In this day and age with everything online, the idea of face-to-face -face meetings is still very important for surgeons. And the workshops are also pretty much down and dirty 40-minute workshops that people get to go to. And by the end of the course, they've attended 15 workshops. I think that uh, one of the really highlights of the course is that the organizers have, have put more than just trauma in here. So we talk about maintenance of certification. We talk about health policy. For instance, the session uh, today about evidence-based medicine is extremely beneficial. It's cutting edge and it's applicable within the Affordable Care Act. A lot of what's going on in orthopedics in our nation. We have leadership from the OTA as well as the academy that are here. So that's really been a great addition to the course. We have 15 uh, to 20 countries that are represented on an annual basis. And it's not just the countries are represented, but the number of people that are coming from these countries are increasing as well. 
That's uh, the internationality has been present from the very beginning, but it has grown over the years significantly. Participants from China, from New Zealand, from Africa, from all over the world are seeking to get here and uh, pick up uh, important knowledge. Okay, I'm um, Priya Duplessy. I'm a um, orthopedic surgeon from New Zealand, um, mostly doing trauma in a small country hospital. I think there's a fresh look at some of the research, obviously from the guys locally that see big numbers that we can learn from and certain small tweaks to practice from a fresh look at the, at, at the evidence. After running the course for a few years, we recognized that there was also a need to teach some of the ancillary healthcare providers, some nurses, physicians assistants. And so we started a nursing workshop as well. So the nursing course goes in parallel with the trauma course, but there are specially prepared nursing workshops with topics that are selected by nurses, but taught by the same expert faculty that are in a small breakout session. And these have been quite popular. So we started the trauma course about 10 years ago. So after about two years, we settled at the Intercontinental Hotel, which was really the only largest hotel in San Francisco that could hold the meeting uh, without being enveloped by a bunch of other meetings. So we've had it here ever since. Clearly, San Francisco is almost on everybody's favorite list, whether or not they're in the Bay Area or they're located somewhere else in the United States or they're international. San Francisco is a big draw and we've been fortunate for that. We also hold it in a wonderful time of the year and the weather's phenomenal. And people often come to the course, but then afterwards go to Napa Valley or drive over to Yosemite. The San Francisco General Hospital and the UCSF programs uh, support the core of the Orthopedic Trauma Institute. And the Orthopedic Trauma Institute's mission is to mend the injured, inspire innovators, and empower leaders to restore lives. Initially, the course uh, hits deep down into our core. It's really part of our mission, part of what we do. And this course hits that last portion of the mission statement, which is empowering people to restore lives. I think we do that through uh, education of uh, a large group of people that come through that are community members. Uh, and increasingly so, we're even doing that on an international scale. I personally spend hundreds of hours on this course, but I believe that deep down in the core mission of what we do, that this course is important. And I'll give you an example. So my mother-in-law, two winters ago, slipped on the ice in Minnesota, small town Minnesota. My father-in-law, who's a physician, took her to the physician who is at the hospital on call for orthopedics and they had a discussion about what was going to happen and when it was going to happen and what they, what they thought her outcome would be. And my father-in-law asked him, well, how many of these do you do? And he said, well, I do about 12 every six months. And he said, but I've recently attended some refresher courses on some techniques and I'm very excited to be able to use them. And it turned out that the course that he had attended was a San Francisco orthopedic trauma course. So in many ways, our course touched my mother-in-law. Das ist hier ein uh, sehr gut durchdachtes. Um, yo animo e invito a, a todos los, los compañeros de, de, de Europa. Israel. Este Este congreso es muy importante para la trauma. Se, Nihon Seikeika Gakkari no, ano, Kaisho o Semon Jiter Sensegata, Hajime, eh, Kai no Minasama, ano, Rainen, Shinatsuni, eh, Dai, Jui Kai no, Orthopedic Trauma Course, na, San Francisco de Hirakaremas. Zehi, Oku no Kata no, San Kao, Nozondorimas. Lo invito a San Francisco en 2016.